don't get to ride too much sand on the west coast. It's all like big, hard packed tracks. And, uh, I practiced quite a bit in the sand and it, it was good. And, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. I just knew that I could put in some fast lap times. And I just feel good on the bike. I mean, my lap times were good. I was top five in lap times. And uh, man, I was pumped because I knew it was going to be, you know, survival of the fittest. First moto like twice or something. Came back to fourth, second moto, was chasing Nye got by him, went off the track, he got back by me, then I was just crushing him again and went to go make the pass and uh, crashed again. I got great starts and you know, actually the first moto I passed for the lead and led for a couple laps and Nye got by me and um, the rest of his guy got second. Stand back home, everyone's saying how tough it is, how deep it is, which it was, it was, but I don't know, it felt like I was in the zone all day, like it just came so easy. I just won both motos by over 20 seconds, and honestly that day was awesome. Having to throw my goggles and got so much sand in my eyes that I felt pretty much blind at the end of the moto, but uh, I was able to pull off that win, put the charge down. Those guys just put on a chair in the second moto, and I pretty much rode with it and just ended up getting it through. The second moto, I had a bad start, and I got bumped off the track, had to go around like the first thing. I worked my way up from 10th to 1st and then I, think I pulled a gap and then Keith caught me a bit and then we kind of stayed in the same spot for most of the race and then, uh, and then yeah, I won. It was <laughs> the best feeling ever.